Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching for today. This is my low-end Lenovo laptop which has AMD processor. I installed the primers on this device after 5 years once again and it's the latest build. If you don't know our 5 years old primers video, that was the most popular video which got the maximum views as compared to the any other videos on our channel. So I decided to one more time review this latest beta build of the x 3600 Bezerra PCOS. I installed the latest Primus 2.1.3 and Android 11 beta build. For installation please watch our old videos, their link is given under the video description. This build supports both the x 86 and the Raspberry Pi devices. I thoroughly tested this build on my laptop and given my final verdict at the end. Does this OS can replace your Windows OS, yes or no? To check that, please watch this video till the end. Now, without further delay, let's get started. As Primus supports all the external hardware devices like mouse, printer, keyboard, so you can use all the PC accessories with this OS for the seamless PC like experience. Let's check out the about device section to check out detailed version info. My device is Lenovo named as 81M. This is the Android 11 beta build of the last Prime OS version. Kernel version is 5.15.43 Prime OS 2.1. This build supports all the AMD drivers for my old AJ device. This is the last build of Prime OS team released on the 20th July 2022. Sadly, I think team has stopped building more updates, that's why last beta build is of 20th July, but hope they will release more updates in the upcoming days. This OS is nothing but the Android user experience on your Windows PC, desktop or laptops. It has Android landscape mode with the Prime OS launcher on the home screen. At the bottom left, who gets the app drawer button with the Prime OS logo to access the app drawer? Who gets the back and the home key beside it? who can access the recent panel by double tapping on the home button. But remember we can change this setting in the navigation bar option available in the main setting. In the recent we can open the apps in the free form or the split screen similar to the Android. We can also able to access the quest panel by swiping the pointer from the top of the screen. For my laptop everything is working like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth camera. It may or may not work for other devices as per the device hardware specs. We can edit this quick setting panel also. The main aim of using the Android on the PC or the laptop is to get the full Android experience. So Play Store is must. But some x 6 prompts didn't suppose this like Bliss OS and x 6 projects. That's why Prime OS most like the custom OS for the PC because it has fully working Google Play Store. So we can download any application from the Play Store and the most of them works with the Prime OS. I tried different applications in this OS. I tried YouTube and it's fully working with the, all the videos with the, all resolutions are working with the audio. Most of users especially prefer this OS to play the games and yes it's true we can download almost all the gaming application from the play store but remember some of them works and some may not as per the hardware of the device. Lots of users are playing the BGMI or PUBG with this OS because it comes with the key mapper of this specific game. So we can play this using the gamepad on your PC. Similarly, one app added by the, as a bloatware in the system that is the GeoGames but it's actually useful to download some different games from the third party app store. Some games are pre-installed here and this can be only playable within the GeoGames. The thing that I already mentioned about the OS has the separate gaming control app called as the Gaming Center. Here you can add our gaming profile. All the games installed via Play Store will be for available in this application. We can directly download the different games compatible to the OS within the Gaming Center without going into the Play Store. Here I already installed the Real Racing 3 game. We can control the performance mode of the game. Like you can set it to the conservative mode, on demand, user space, power saving mode or the performance. Because the Primus kernel supports this profile which will help to improve your gaming along with the battery saving feature. Key mapping is available for some games only like BGMI and will be added for the other games too. 
This will help us to play the games like Bijama with the game pads which is most required feature for all the gamers. At the top right corner we get the CPU, the percentage, RAM memory, uses and the free memory available. And lastly it shows the free storage available on the PC. We can open lots of the application at the same time for the multitasking and the running application will be available with the logo on the taskbar. Here by long pressing on the logo we can close or pin the apps on the taskbar. So purely this ROM can be considered as the gamer centric ROM. But wait if you want to use this OS for the professional purpose then you can download almost all the office applications from the play store and you can do your official work or students can also use this to create the nodes. I personally use the WPS office and it's working good on this OS similar to the Android devices. So no need to buy anything to use some extra features like Windows OS because everything is free or cracker versions are available for the Android. So this is all about some major features of the Prime OS but remember everything great has some cons like the bugs and the issues. Similar here this is the running well on the PC or the laptop but sometimes without no reasons apps didn't open immediately they get hangs and force closes. Play Store is not certified in this OS so some Android application will not available for this OS. Septinet is also getting failed so some highly secured banking or the secret applications will not work here. For no reason some applications are not working in this OS like Real Racing 3 is not opening at all. Polaris Office application also didn't working. Like this I can't count how many applications has issues in this OS. Please tell if you are already facing any issues. Except this I didn't face any other issues but these above mentioned bugs are really deal breaking for lots of users to use this OS as a daily driver. Developers of this OS currently not releasing any updates. Last update is of July 2022. Hope soon developers will give any surprise update and will solve most of these issues especially unsupported applications and force closing of applications. After a long time we reviewed this build. If you really liked our work then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.